This is Big Poppy Racing. Welcome back to the 2020 Diecast Games and part two of round one of the Fat Track Free For All. Today, as in last week, the top two cars from each group will advance to the second round. Each winner will receive three points for the team and their casting. Let's get started. The first match has Red Pills Mercedes 500 SE, Peter B. Vid's Jaguar D-Type, Ohio Valley Racers Chevy Monte Carlo, and League of Speeds Hot Tub. Here we go down the track. Through the squeeze. Looks like everybody's through. Yep, they are. They're starting down the hill. Looks like the Mercedes is in the lead, followed by the Hot Tub closely. And the Monte Carlo in third. And it looks like that's the way they will finish. Take a look back and there's the Jaguar. Mercedes up five to three over the hot tub. They start the second heat. Down they go through the squeeze around the curve. Somebody's off already. Looks like the Mercedes again is going to fight to the front. And he's going to finish if he does finish. He does. He will get five. And second place will go to Hot Wheel Racer Mike in the Monte Carlo. Looking back, oh, they got tangled in the corner. The Jaguar in the hot tub. Here's round three. Down they go through this. Oh, oh, track car off the track early. The hot tub has gotten around the Mercedes, and he's going to leave them behind, finishing for the five points. Then the Mercedes will take second, and the Monte Carlo third, and the Jaguar just not having luck. Here's heat four. Coming down through the squeeze. Everybody's through. Everybody's around. And we start down the hill. The hot tub shot out. No, the Jaguar has taken. And he's passed by the hot tub. So the hot tub will taste first. The Jaguar second. Mercedes third. And the Monte Carlo fourth. So here's the four cars and how they line up. The Red Pills Mercedes will advance along with League of Speed and the hot tub. Next heat, Big Poppy has a Ferrari F40, a gold version. Bad Bird Racing has a Subaru Imprenza, Art Command, a Track Ripper, and Jim L has the Honda Sprocket. Here they go down the track. Through the turn, it looks like the Sprocket, oh, the Sprocket overturns, turns back over. It's the Ferrari and the Sprocket fighting around the last corner, and the Ferrari will nose out Jim L's Sprocket. Honda Sprocket, and the other two cars will not finish. They will be back at the last turn. So we'll go into the second heat. Lanes are changed. Down we go. Looks like you got a contest between the Ferrari and the Sprocket. Not this time. The Sprocket's out ahead, and he is gone. If he can stay on the track and maneuver the corner, there we go. He will finish first. The Ferrari second. The track breaker third, and the Imprenza fourth. So we change lanes and go for heat three. Through the curve again, the Sprocket and the Ferrari out front. They're going to fight. It looks like the Sprocket off the track, but back on is going to take first uh, uh, the uh, Ferrari second. Third will go to the Imprenza, and it looks like the Track Ripper will just get fourth. Final heat. Here we go. Around the curve, it's the Sprocket. He's out in front. He's turned sideways, though. Hey, the Mercedes just pushed past him. I'm not the Mercedes, the Ferrari. And the Ferrari is going to finish for five points. The Sprocket and the Imprenza got tied up in the first or in the last curve, unable to finish. And our track ripper's got to be up at the first curve. Yeah, he's in the straightaway coming down. With the brackets being set, which two cars are going to face the Mercedes and Hot Tub? It's Big Poppy's Ferrari F40 and Jim L's Honda Sprocket. Congratulations, these two cars will advance to the next round. So the next heat, everybody's favorite, Hot Wheel Calgary in the custom V8 Vega. Lady of Speeds, little Mini Cooper, Silverback Racing's Oldsmobile Aurora, and Rust Belt Racing's Nissan Junior. They're down the track. One car is off already. Two cars are off already. Looks like the Olds Aurora and the Nissan Junior, if they finish, and they will. First for the Aurora, and here's our one car off in the apron and one off on the corner. So we'll go to the second heat. <coughs> the Aurora in first with five points. Everybody's been changed. We get some more mix-up going on, and uh, we're dead. We're dead heat, so we'll rerun this one time. If nobody is able to win in the second heat, then we'll 
have a zero for that round. So here we go. Second attempt for heat two. Around the corner they go. It looks like the Mini Coopers come out of there in the lead with the Vega in second and the Olds in third. Let's see if it holds. Here's Lady Esprit. She does get past the finish line, Vega, and then the Olds Aurora will take third. So we're going into the third round right now. The Olds Aurora has seven points total and he's leading the group. Go into the mix and only one car still moving. It looks like that custom V8 Vega from Hot Wheel Calgary will finish the track and get his five for this time. There's the little mini cupper in our apron. We'll look around, there's the other two in the first curve. Last heat, which two cars will advance? Down we go, through the squeeze. Everyone's made it, round the first curve, everyone's made it. Everyone's on the track going downhill. The Mini Cooper's out in first. Second's gonna be the V8 Vega. No, second's gonna be the Olds Aurora. Oh, the Aurora, Aurora passes the, the Mini Cooper and the Cooper gets pushed by the Vega over the finish line. So these three cars, or these four cars, are gonna be laid out like this. The Hot Wheels Custom Vega and the Olds Aurora will advance to the second round. Congratulations. So which two of these cars will take on them? Fast Fives Racing's Austin Martin, the racer who says me, custom Nissan, Ty went on, Sandy has the Roger Dodger, and Rhett Nelson Racing, the Ford GT40. Here we go. It looks like the custom 300 is gonna walk off, and he does in this heat. The second place for the GT, and third place for the Roger Dodger. There's our Austin Martin up off the edge of the lane. We swap lanes and go to heat two. Heat two, down they go through the squeeze. We've got the Austin Martin in first. Or no, I'm sorry, that's the Roger Dodger in first. Austin Martin's, oh, the Roger Dodger comes off the track. So the Nissan is gonna take first and second again to the Ford GT. The Austin Martin comes across for third place. Here we are, heat three. Who's gonna take it? So far, the Nissan has won both heats. He's around the curve, he's a heavy casting. He pushes, pushes. He's got the Roger Dodger in front, but the Roger Dodger is gonna come around. Yeah, no, he turned, overturned. The Roger Dodger didn't handle turn three. The Custom takes it again. So he's won three out of four races at this point, or three out of three, because here's the fourth heat. Coming down the track, let's see what happens. Roger Dodger's up there in first, tumbles and falls, cannot get by. The custom Nissan will take first. The Austin Martin is coming down and see if he's gonna take second. So that pretty much seals it for the Nissan. And there's our Roger Dodger that overturned up on the track and the Ford GT. So out of these four cars, I think we're gonna have a close one between the GT40 and the Austin Martin. And I'm right, the GT40 of r and Racing will advance and they will take on the Vega and the Aurora in the next round. Next up, we've got MDG's Ford GTLM, JX4 Racing's Chevy Impala, Gen X Vintage Racing's Ferrari 360 Medina, and Kaboom Racer has a Chevy Stalker. Down they go. Everybody's through the squeeze, everybody's round the curve, and down we go. It looks like the Ford GTLM is gonna be in the lead and will take the win, followed closely by the Medina, then the Stalker, and then the Impala crosses last. Change our lanes, and here we go. Mixing up, and it looks like the machine, Medina, and oh no, the Medina hit the Chevy Impala, knocked him upside down. So the Stalker's gonna come by in first place. Medina hot on his heels, and the GTLM will finish in third. So goodness, the, the Impala was in first, but got knocked out by the, by the Medina. Here we go. Everybody's through, everybody's around, everybody's coming down. The Stalker's in first. The Ford GTLM off the track and back on the track. The Medina will finish third and the Impala fourth. Last heat. Right now, looking good for the Chevy Stalker. The second place is in the air. Everybody's around, everybody's down, then the Stalker's off again. Oh, the Medina goes off the track. The Ford GTLM will finish in second. And the Chevy Impala will take third. We'll look, and because of that non-finish, the GTLM and the Chevy Stalker will advance. So congratulations, gentlemen. 
Let's see who you face in the next round. Your Nightmare Racing's Praetorian Guard, the Rogue Racers Datsun 200SX, Uncle Elvis Racing in his Jaguar XJ220, and Mark D of CRC with the LVM coat. Here we go, through the squeeze. Everybody's around the curve. Everybody's down, going through the narrow one. Praetorian Guard in first place. Looks like the Datsun's gonna finish in second, and then the Jaguar, and then the El Vento. So five, three, two, one, we swap, and we go. Nice, in no time that the court, Praetorian Guard is through. He's turned sideways off the track, back on the track. He slowed the other cars. They're beating the snot out of him, but the Praetorian Guard is still gonna finish, and he'll be the only one that does. So that's got him 10 points after two rounds. There's the El Viento. We look back, here's the, the uh, Jaguar off the track and back up around the first. Well, he come off the squeeze. The Dotson got squeezed out. Next heat, lanes change. Down we go. It looks like everybody's going to make it through the curve. Down the hill, the Dotson sideways. The Praetorian's ahead, Dotson second. Jaguar third, let's see if it finishes that way. It does, and the Alvento last. Last heat, here we go. Praetorian Guard's got this first place already wrapped up, it looks like. And he will come out of this in first through this curve. They're gonna be bunched up. I don't know if, it, yeah, here comes the Jaguar. If he can make it down the track, he's gonna finish second. So that's gonna give uh, the Jaguar a second place finish. No other cars finish in this race. And that could very likely hurt, as it did. Look here, your nightmare racing. Praetorian Guard with 20. The Jaguar advances with seven. Congratulations, guys. You go to the next round. We've got Dirty Deeb's Scion XB, Crazy Fresh Entertainment's Batmobile, Toon Tracks Racing's Honda's Sprocket, and My Hot Wheels Collection with his Rapid Responder. Here we go down the hill through the squeeze. Oh, we've got a mess. Yeah, we've got a, and, but, but, looks like the, the Rapid Responder is going to come out backwards, but if he finishes, he's going to be by his lonesome. So five points for the Rapid Responder. As you can see, the other cars got wiped out in the turn. We changed the lanes, and here we go. They squeeze again. This time, we've got a little more action going on. A few more cars. Looks like four, all four down, but looks like they're being held up. The responder is still in first. The sprocket looking second, and that's how they will finish. Is the Batmobile going to come down? I don't think. No, no, they got sideways, and the sign did and, and slowed everything. Heat three. Here we go. Into it. Oh, they're all there. Two are off. Three are off. I'm sorry. Three are on the track. And the Batmobile will force its way past the responder, drop him low enough to keep the Scion from finishing. Nice block. So here's our Scion and responder. The only one finishes is the Batman. And there's our Sprocket up top. So let's go to Heat 4. Here we go. Everybody through the squeeze. Everybody through the curve, down the hill, through the narrowing. The responder in first, the sprocket in second. Looks like the Scion's trying to keep third. No, he will not. The bat goes third and the Scion fourth. That result, that result will mean that the Batmobile will move to the next round as well as the responder. Now let's see who's going to race these two cars. We've got Nick Deaver's 500 SE, the Merb. We've got Silverbacks Racing Mazda Repo. We've got Simon D of Hot Car with his Nova Gasser and Pole Boy Racing has a Shadow Jet. Here we go. Down the track into the curve so far. It looks like the repo is gonna drop out off the track. The Mazda's off and back on the Shadow Jet and him are racing and he will take first. The Shadow Jet second. And that's gonna be all the cars that finish. So five for the Mercedes. Here we go with heat two. The lanes are changed through the squeeze, around the curve. It looks like all four cars are still racing. Mercedes looks like he, well, he almost came off the track, but we did manage to stay on. Second's the Shadow Jet, third's the Gasser, and the repo comes around, and will he make it? No, he will not. So the repo does not finish again. Here's your third heat. Moved, the lane's changed, and down we go. Through the squeeze, around the curve. Everybody's still in action, the Mercedes up front. Oh, he comes off the track, and it looks like the Shadow Jet is going to win first in the Gasser and 
The repo is going to take third, so five, three, and two points respectively, and the last heat. That Mercedes almost too powerful for the track, throws one car off, another car off the shadow. Jet is in first. It looks like the Mercedes sort of got either sideways or upside down. That the, the front end on that shadow jet gives it some advantage if it gets up under you. And here comes the repo, and I don't know if he's going to have the juice. He will not finish. So five points for the shadow jet. But here's where the Mercedes got turned upside down at the narrowing and back in the apron. So with that, looking at these four cars, the two cars that will advance will be the Mercedes and the shadow jet will face the last two winners, the Batmobile and the Responder. So those two guys move on. We're at the midway point. So let's hear a word from our sponsor. Howdy, folks. It's Auto Deal, your friend in the car business. I'm with Auto Deal's Auto Autorama, and we have cars. We have trucks. We have every possible car you want. We even got the Diora 3. Hard to find. Can't keep them on the shelves. Our first deal today. Look at this green Mustang with the inverse black flames. Today, only 250. That's right, 250. I know, I know, you can't believe it. Ain't seen nothing yet. Here's another pony, Mustang, silver, blue stripes, faster than ever wheels. Guess how much? Just $3. That's right, $3. Ain't got that much? How about a fixer upper? Here's a matchbox. Just begging for wheels and paint. Only 99 cents. Oh, goodness. And the deal of the day. The baby doll. Boss Mustang. Only $4. You drive this, you will be the boss. And with the purchase of any car, you get a free Diora 3. That's right. It's almost terrifying. But I am your best friend in the business. Just drop in and see Beezer. Scooter. The Professor. And, of course, Bertha. We're Auto Deals Auto Autorama at 343 Cheatham Street in No Clue. Thanks to Auto's Autorama for today's sponsorship. Let's get going with the next race. Uncle Elvis Racing has a Mazda RX-7. The racer who says, Ni, has the Shark Cruiser. Fra uh, Rust Belt Racing has a Locomotion. Bad dude. And Bad Burn Racing is Roger Dodger 2.0. Here we go. Second half of this Day. Everybody's through the turn. Everybody's around. Oh, nope, we've got somebody. Oh, and there goes the locomotion. Car is everywhere. Um, we've got two cars fighting. It looks like the Mazda is going to take off and get first. Will he be followed by anyone? The locomotion was the only. Yeah, here he comes. The locomotion comes around the curve, and he's going to take second. So three points for locomotion. We've got uh, elsewhere on the track. We'll look back. There's the Shark Cruiser. Just came off. And up at the top on the apron is the Roger Dodger 2.0 from Bad Burn Racing. We swap lanes and we go. Here we go. Everybody into the turn. Everybody around. Right now, all four cars are still moving. We've got some sideways movement. And the Roger Dodger and the Mazda are... I, I don't... It... Uh, yeah... I don't think anybody wanted that heat from the looks of things. A little scary. Nobody finished. We'll try it one more time. Down we go. Into the squeeze. Around the curve. Down the heat. All four cars still in the process. Around we go. Here's the shark. It's the shark and the Dodger and the Mazda fighting hard. And nobody's going to finish heat two. So no points for Heat 2. Going to Heat 3. Does anybody want to run this race? Through the squeeze. Around the corner. Cars battling. All four cars still on the track. They go through the narrowing. The Mazda has skipped by. The, R the uh, Dodger went off the edge. And the Mazda RX-7 will finish and win. That's two first place finishes. There's the locomotion and the other cars. Just do not have the wheel. We swap lanes for the last heat. They come in, they mix it up. Everybody's through the squeeze. Oh, we got now this. Nope, nope, here comes the shark. The shark cruiser is by himself down the track. If he can finish, he may pull off second place. He will win the heat five points. So the four cars, look here. 
Uncle Elvis's RX-7 takes first. The racers who say ni Shark Cruiser takes second. So these cars will advance to the winner of this race. We've got Taiwan on Sandy's Ford GT40, Ohio Valley Racers, uh, uh, Porsche Carrera, Dirty Deeds Racing Speed Seeker, and Madness Motorsports Twin Mill Gen E. Everybody's through the squeeze. Everybody's around the curve. Here we go through the narrowing. As they come down, they're mixing it up. The Speed Seeker's off. The Carrera, uh, Porsche's off. But first place will go to the Ford GT40, and second will go to the Twin Mill Gen E. Both those cars came off after the second curve. We'll swap around, and here is race two. We are having some issues. That Porsche is so thick that he just had a tough start on that one. I give him a little help to get out of the gates. One of the bad advantages of using this kind of starter. Everybody's down, everybody's around, and everybody will finish. This time, the Speed Seeker will take first. Second went to the Ford GT40, and here we go in, this is the third heat. They're around, the GT is stopped. The Speed Seeker is still down, going down the track, followed by the Gen, uh, Gen Mill and the, Carrera, uh, the Porsche for finish third. So we'll get to the last race, and here we go. Gen Mill sort of slow along with the Porsche coming out of the blocks. Looks like the Ford GT40 is going to finish first. The other cars are all busted. They're not going to finish. I don't think the Speed Seeker can do it. Mm. No, he doesn't. So the Ford GT takes it. Let's see where everybody's caught up in, on the track. So out of the four cars, we've got two that will advance. And to face the other will be the Ford GT and the Speed Seeker from Dirty D Bracing. So congratulations. That will be the set for next week. Next race has ARC Command with a Dodge Challenger, Peter B. Vids with a Lexus, Tune Tracks with a Batmobile faster than ever, and JX4 Racing has a Ferrari 308 GTB. Here we go, race one, down through the track, around the curve, everybody's still on, they're all down single file. Oh, no, two cars, one car comes off the track. It looks like the Batmobile will take first, the Challenger will take second, the Lexus will not finish. And as you can see, the Ferrari actually came off the track. We're going to heat two now. Everybody's through the squeeze. Now nope, we've lost one car in the first corner. Only two, it looks like, will finish. The Lexus is going to be in first. And second will go to the Ferrari GTB of JX4 Racing. Our two cars caught up in the corner, first corner. Now we go to race three, heat three. The Ferrari, by the way, is a heavy, heavy casting. You see him, he hit the top hard. He's gonna come out and looks like he can take first place if he stays on the track. Oh, the challenger cannot. He got sideways and he's not gonna have enough momentum. So the Ferrari will take race three. And as we go to uh, heat four, everyone's moved and here we go. Everybody's around curve one. The Batmobile has taken off. Looks like Robin hit the afterburners. The Lexus coming down in second. And the fight's going to be for third and fourth. And there's only going to be third, and that's going to be the Ferrari. So looking at our four cars, we've got a tie, folks. Two cars at 10 points, but since they were winners, they both advanced. Tune tracks in the Batmobile along with the JX4 Ferrari. So congratulations. These two winners will take the winners of this heat. Silverback Racing's Maserati MC12, MDG's Jaguar, Crazy Fresh Entertainment's got a 70 Roadrunner and League of Speed has that Escalade. Down the track they go through the squeeze, through the turn. One car's been left behind, another's been turned over. The Escalade is plowing through. Maserati on his tail. Let's see who comes around the curve. And the Escalade will take first and the Maserati second. So five and three points. The Roadrunner got a nose under him and turned over. Same thing with the Jaguar. So let's go to heat two. We'll change lanes and go. Down the track they go, through the squeeze, around the curve. Everybody's going on, single files starting. The Escalade out in front. Second's gonna be the Roadrunner. The Maserati, or the uh, Jaguar finishes third and last goes to the Maserati. Here's the third heat. Through the squeeze. Everybody, oh, not the Roadrunner's pulled out. Here we go, oh, look at here. 
Nice move. Oh, but he blew it. The Escalade had a beautiful move. The Maserati's got around him along with the Jaguar. First of goes to the Maserati, second to the Jaguar. And they just toss the Escalade like a used sock. Here's our road runner to the beginning. Here's our heat four. Through the squeeze. Yep, the Jaguar gets sideways. He's, he's out of it. Escalade's coming down. Road runner in second. And third looks like it's going to be the Maserati. And that's how they will finish. So we'll look back up. He got sque squeezed out at the first turn. So with that said, the four cars and the points are like this. Silverback Racing will advance with 11 and the League of Speed and his Escalade with 15. So these two cars will replace or face the last two winners. So our next heat looks to be a good one. Kaboom Racers has a Porsche P928. Nick Deavers Racing, a Datsun 280ZX. Lady of Speed, a Nissan 350Z. And Hot Wheels Calgary's got an F40. This should be good, folks. Here we go, through the squeeze. Oop, no, there's one out already. Coming down the hill, it looks like it's gonna be the F40 and the 350Z, the Nissan and the Ferrari. They're coming to the Nissan. Oh, no, I don't know, folks. We're gonna take a look at this. The Nissan, Lady of Speed, beats the Ferrari across. There's our Datsun from Nick Deavers off the track. And then at the top, you've got the Porsche in the first curve. Heavy casting, older car, second heat. The Ferrari's off the track. Down we go. The Nissan's in first. The Porsche's in second. The Nissan loses traction. Porsche goes around, and he will take first place. Second will go to the Nissan, and third to the Datsun. There's Hot Wheels, Calgary. Aaron's all right. He's, he's all right. We're, here we go. Heat three fight through the squeeze, little banging around. All four make it and all four start down. Oh, the Datsun goes sideways. He's having issues staying straight on the track and he's gonna block everything. Is anybody gonna finish? No, wait, no. Nobody's finishing, so we're rerunning that heat. We do it one time. That Datsun just has issues staying straight at the moment, it looks like. Down they go. Through the squeeze, around the corner. And all four cars coming down the straight. Oh, the Datsun hits hard one side and goes to the other. He's off the track. It's back between the Ferrari and the Nissan. This time the Ferrari takes first, the Nissan second. There they were lost in the second curve, the Porsche and the Datsun. And here's our last heat, folks. Still up in the air. One car is out. We come down, the Porsche's dancing around the track. The Ferrari's right on his tail, trying to get around him. Porsche's fighting, will not let him. Porsche takes first, Ferrari takes second. See the 350 came off the track here and up at the top. The Datsun came out, just never really stood a chance. Four good cars, who advances? Oh, look at here. Two of the winners tied for 11. Lady of Speed with the 350 and the Ferrari F40. We'll race on to the next round. So which two cars from this heat are they gonna race? Gen X Vintage, Nissan, Bluebird, your Nightmare Racing, Johnny Lightning, Coca-Cola, Studebaker, Po' Boy Racing's Ford F-150, and Simon D's got a Jaguar on the far edge. Here we go down the track. Only uh, what, three cars come through the curve. The Studebaker's in front, goes around the curve. He has left the Jaguar. It looks like he's fought through the second. And first place will go to the Studebaker, second to the Jaguar. Here's race two. A lot of weight up there, folks, in the squeeze. Two cars, three cars out are still going at this point. The Studebaker in first. It looks like it's going to be the Ford F-150 to finish second and the Jaguar third. And the Bluebird got, got uh, squeezed out. Here's heat three. Going through again. It looks like the, oh, the Studebaker's gone around the car that, that came out of car in one with him and he will be the only one to finish. Five points for the Studebaker. No one else gets anything as we see how they were laid out. There's the F40 and then the Bluebird. And then up at the first, in the first part of it, or the apron, uh, was the Ford F150. We move one more time and we go one more time. They come down. Studebaker's been dominated, but won't this time. Looks like the F150 is out ahead. I don't know if there's anyone else. Here comes the Jaguar down the track. That could be important, folks. The F150 finishes first, the Jaguar second. And the Dotson and the Studebaker do not finish. They got tangled up in the first curve. So here's our four cars. Coca Studebaker walked away with it. 
but we got a tie for second. And you know what that means, folks? That means race off. And I know you might just have seen it, but we're going to have one race, and here we go. Sorry to spoil you like that. I didn't realize that was up there like that, but here they go. The f 150s in the lead coming around. He is going to walk off and win or drive off and win against the, the Jaguar. So the we're down to the last two groups of four. The Rogue Racer has a Roger Dodger old casting. Fast Five Racing has his Honda Civic Type R. Jim L has the Shadow Jet White. And Red Pill has a Datsun 300ZX. Here we go. They're around the first into the second. Couple of cars off. Looks like we're going into into this. It's a fight between the Shadow Jet and the Datsun. And nobody is going to get to the finish line for Heat 1. Everybody's laid out backwards. There we go. That was the Honda. And up there's the Roger Dodger running the heat again. See if someone will finish this time. Roger Dodger comes out ahead. Gets the squeeze around. He's still going. Bouncing off the sides. Turning upside down. All four cars around the second curve. Shadow Jet is taken out. And he will take first place. And be the only one to finish. So for the first heat, Shadow Jet gets five. Let's go. Squeeze in here. See the car cars we'll go to heat two move the change the lanes and here we go this time around the corner it looks like the shadow oh no the roger dodgers come by but he's sideways and nobody gonna finish the first heat for heat two so here's our second run of heat two these cars are banging pushing and they know what's important and down they come Squeezing around this time, it's going to be the Shadow Jet and the Roger. Oh, the Roger Dodger just walked right past the Shadow Jet. Dodger will finish first. Shadow Jet will get second. So five and three for those. Here's the Dotson up against the wall, and here's Heat three. Down they come through the squeeze into the wall uh, around the curve, down the hill. All four cars still on their wheels. No, upside down now. There's going to be a track blocker, and the Roger Dodger is going to go all the way and take first place, which is really going to help him in the final standings for this heat. We'll go to the last race. Here's our bunch up. These cars just love each other. So here's our change our lanes in the last heat, and here we go. Everybody's through the squeeze. Everybody's around the curve. One, two, three. Everybody makes it through the narrowing. Here's they come down. Who's going to win? Is it going to be the Dotson? Yes, the Datsun fights the Shadow Jet off. Then the Roger Dodger and the Honda finishes last. So here's our four cars and here's our scores. The Roger Dodger and the Shadow Jet will advance on to the next round and they will take the winners of this race. Last race of round one. Big Poppy has an Evo. My Hot Wheel Collection has a GT40. R&R Racing has a Jaguar and Mark D has an 87 Dodge 100. Down they go. Let's see what happens. Around the curve. Don't know how the Dodge truck is going gonna, is gonna to fare on this kind of track with his, his big treaded wheels. The GT40 is going to take second uh, first from uh, my Hot Wheels collection. And second went to the Jaguar. There's the, he's turned over. And there's Big Poppy's Evo upside down. So we'll see heat two and how that goes. They come around the turn and push through. We're coming down, and it looks like first is going to be this GT40 is fighting with Jag, and he's going to take first again. Second will go to the Jaguar, third to the Evo. And there's the Dodge having troubles through the squeeze and the turn. He's just that type of truck on this track just is not going to work, I don't think. But everybody races, so here we go. And he's out again along with the Jaguar. So now it's, down, it's up to the Evo and the GT40, and the Evo will pass him on the final curve, and Big Poppy's Evo will get five and three to the GT. As we look at the other two cars that got hung up after the squeeze, and we'll go to the last heat. This is close race, folks. Through the squeeze, the GT comes out by himself at the moment. Let's see what happens. He comes around curve two. Gonna come around curve two. Oh no, here's another car coming down the right track. So the GT's going to win it. This is the Evo. Big Poppy's Evo somehow or another got down the hill and finishes with the other two cars. They were fighting at the very end. That's where they're left off. And that will bring the totals to 10 and 18. So the Evo advances with a 10, the GT40 with an 18. 
So both of those cards would advance on to the next round. Next week, round two, all the 64 winners will participate. We will complete round two next week. Two top cars will advance, three more points for themselves and their teams. And the brackets are set, so you can pretty much guess where they're going to be. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, and for God's sakes, people, vote. This has been a Big Poppy Racing production.